openings. Revit has five different types of openings. Opening by face, it's a perpendicular opening to your face. Here's the uh, here is, is the picture. Uh, shaft, it's uh, an opening uh, which uh, can intersect multiple objects, floors, uh, roofs. Opening in a wall, vertical opening, and dormer. Uh, let's try two of them. Uh, open in a wall, you activate this tool and then pick your wall and then define start and end point. Here it is. To define a height, you need to set properties of this opening in properties bar. Uh, base constraint level 1 to level 2 and uh, offset 0, unconnected high so here it is, we can check on the 3D our opening there is one issue that uh, after you uh, added an opening into a wall, your room will be not an, uh, closed by this wall. So you need to draw a room separator under your opening to calculate your room area. So uh, for this reason sometimes it's much much easier to create opening in a wall uh, just by adding a door without door uh, objects. Uh, so we can create in Revit uh, a door, uh, but a real uh, it will be just an opening. Just uh, you can, for example, delete all parts of a door. Um, this way and uh, insert just uh, insert just an opening to your wall and uh, it will uh, it looks like here and of course this will be deleted so you can do an opening like this and this way uh, you'll have closed region in the room and uh, you will need to draw uh, a line from bounding. Uh, the second type it's a shaft it's very useful to create an opening to your stairs or elevators uh, in the shaft you uh, add your uh, opening in the sketch mode you draw a shape of an opening for example like that and you can set base constraint level 1 and top height like that, check on a 3D so uh, if you can see your opening it's here you can select all, check none and uh, shaft opening and make it higher by moving this triangle on, the, on its end so this way you can create an opening in multiple uh, floors or roofs to select it you need to uh, move your mouse over its boundary and I made it smaller so it's two main types of opening in Autodesk Revit